Welcome back to the channel guys. Thanks for joining me today. I want to go over something here today that uh, I kind of talked about in a previous video and that's how I'm going to try to use all these power stations together to get the most watt hours to extend my capacity as long as possible. And I got something here which is uh, from Blue Eddy. This works with the AC200P as well as the EB150 but we're primarily going to hook it up to um, the AC200P and what it's called is a, a DC charge enhancer and what this allows me to do is it allows me to hook an additional 500 watts up to charge my AC200P and it comes with two cords you've got a XT90 to a cigarette lighter adapter that you can plug into a vehicle to charge or you can actually use it uh, plugged into another power station and that's one of the ways I'm going to use it. It also comes with uh, an XT90 to MC4 and what you can do with that basically is, is if, if you've been watching my channel you know I have two strings of solar panels up on my roof. I have 800 watts that's hooked up to the AC200P full-time and then I have another 200 watts that I have hooked up to the EB150. Now I've added a couple hundred to that so now I have 400 watts of, of panels on this second string and that's going to allow me to get more watts in and basically with the Blue Eddy DC charge enhancer if I want I can use the XT90 to MC4 to this side and hook that second string and have both strings hooked to the AC200P. Now the AC200P has a limit of 700 watts max on your solar input but with the DC charge enhancer it gives me up to an additional 500 watts so you can literally if you have the panel strength can get 1200 watts into this AC200P. Now I don't have enough solar panels to max out either input. On occasion I'll get 600 from the 800 panels that I have on one string, 800 watts of panels I have on one string, and every now and then I'll hit 700. I need to be over paneled a little bit more to you know maintain 700 constantly because the sun is unpredictable. It goes in and out of the clouds and, and uh, you can't over panel as long as you stay within uh, the voltage of the AC200P which I believe is 150 volts is the most that uh, you can put in on the solar input but with the DC charge enhancer you can over panel that as well because it let me get my old man glasses out here again the input is 12 to 60 volts 10 amp max so as long as you don't go over the 60 volts you can panel up to that so if you put 600 watts you might have to go with 500 watts I don't know if you could ever max that out completely but um, you have to do some finagling on on your how you set your strings up series series parallel but as long as you stay under 60 volts or you know don't go over 60 volts DC on the charge enhancer through that solar panel string you can over panel to to an extent um, the output is going to be 58.8 volts 8.2 max so that's just shy of, of 500 watts if you do the math but either way you're going to be able to increase your solar input or like I say if you don't want to use solar you can use the cigarette lighter port and I want to show you that first because that's going to probably be the primary way I'm using it because what that allows me to do is it allows me to use my EB150's 1500 watt hours and my EcoFlow River Pro's 1440 watt hours um, to power my station and extend the life. So we're going to show okay. you that first. I'm going to show you the first way I have it hooked up. 
This is my AC 200p screen. See I'm getting about 400 watts from solar. I'm getting 103 from the DC charge enhancer. That's what this icon because it's plugged into your power brick port, your 8 millimeter power brick port. And then I'm pulling 468 watts. And if, like I say, if you've watched previous videos, you know I have a transfer switch in my house and I'm running um, two refrigerators and now two freezers because I've added a freezer since uh, the last time I showed you the transfer switch and I'm running two TVs some hallway and kitchen lights um, and there's four circuits total so all four of them are running right now and you can see what I'm pulling so all you do is you hook the charge enhancer to the power brick port it's hooked right here and then this cord is going to cigarette lighter port of my EcoFlow River Pro and you can see I'm putting out an input of 91 watts and an output of about uh, it fluctuates between 107 to 113 and where I'm getting my input from is from my AC 200p and the other solar is coming from it so the 400 watts is bringing in 185 and I'm sending out a hundred to the Eco River Pro so that's allowing me to charge this keep it charged but bring power over to here and bring power over to here so why would I do it that way well I'm trying to use the watt hours from all three units this is 2000 1500 and with the extra battery 1440 so that gives me a total of 4940 watt hours and I don't want to drain those all at one time so I'm okay with just bringing in 100 watts because I'm sipping power from these other units and the EB150 the solar from it is keeping it charged because it's getting enough input from the solar panels to cover what it's outputting so the only one that is drawing down is the Eco River Pro and you can see that it's not drawing down very much about 20 watts to 30 watts which still as you can see the time is about 65 hours and it'll fluctuate now this is the way to use this in a power outage situation so right now I'm getting more watts in from the AC 200p that I'm putting out now you're asking me why is it at 94 percent well my wife ran the microwave and it dropped about five percent a while ago and I also didn't have the charge enhancer hooked up to it so now it shouldn't go down anymore with the watts that I'm getting and should trickle up so this can run a long time with this setup now there's another way that I can use the charge enhancer and I'll stop the video and hook it up to where we're pulling both solar panel strings in just to the AC 200p and let you look at that okay now we have the solar panels both strings hooked up to the AC 200p and you can see we're getting 
around 400 bouncing around a little bit and yeah, about 174 from this side right here so that's 574 watts we're pulling 500 so hooked up this way all the solar's coming in and during the daytime this might be the best way to hook it up because it's going to give you the ability to with the transfer switch and all those circuits running on it it's going to run them all and it's not going to go down if we're getting a good sunny day so that's the other way to do it hook it directly up to solar I'm probably looking into adding some more solar panels especially on the this side here I want to maybe take that up to about 1400 from the 800 I would do two 700 watt strings and then bring them into a series parallel connection that would be under the voltage that the AC 200 P requires and I would probably max out my 700 watts um, pretty easy because my goal is is to run this long term and if you know if you're dealing with solar you're always at the mercy of the sun so especially here in the winter time my 800 watts is doing okay I'll get into the high sixes but here in November you know on peak sun hours I'm only getting about 400 watts and if you know you have solar on the roof you're not going to go and adjust those panels to try to to get more so what I'm trying to do is is to make it self-sufficient where don't have to worry about adjusting panels so if I over panel I should be okay in the uh, winter time and increase if I'm getting 400 on a sunny day in the winter I can probably max that out to 700 by adding more solar panels the other thing that I want to do too is add the B300 battery to the system because the DC charge enhancer will allow you to do that um, it would make it compatible with the AC 200 P um, and that would extend my watt hour capacity even more so why would I not you leave it this way well because overnight what I would do is I would have the charge enhancer hooked to the DC outlet plugged into the Eco uh, River Pro and the EB150 charging the Eco River Pro in this way I'm sipping power 100 watts at a time and Hopefully that would get me through the day and then the next day when the sun comes up I could charge those systems back up So the reason I would use it The way I had it originally set up is for that reason and that's to extend your uh, battery capacity During the day obviously if if the EB 150 and the echo River Pro are charged to hundred percent. There's no need you could run all the solar through here and I can interchange that and swap it out as I need to but that's a, a brief overview of how this charge enhancer works it's a good product that uh, I was a little disappointed when I seen Blue Eddy come out with these new power stations because I had purchased this AC 200 P back uh, in the spring and I didn't uh, want to have to go buy a new one so I'm glad they made the batteries backwards compatible to the AC 200 P and also the EB 150 um, so like I say my idea would be just to add a, a B 300 to this system I know I could do the B 230 but the B 300 is also compatible and it's it's 3,000 watt hours so just that alone would take me from 2,000 to 5,000 just on a single unit and then when you throw in the other two, if you were an extended period of, of power outage, you got another um, 2,940 watt hours that you can tap into. And 
I guess the question would be, what are you going to do on a, you know, you have a week of clouds and you're not getting the solar that you would want. Well, that's where a gas generator might come in as I could charge these up, but I wouldn't have to run those circuits full time off of gas. I could just use the gas to, to charge these systems up um, pretty quickly and with the uh, power bricks and the power stations, you know, I might only have to run that for three or four hours to get up to where I could get through the night and and uh, get these stations charged back up. But I think the solar will work if I increase how many panels that I have. And I'm pretty happy with this charge enhancer because I think it's going to do a good job for me. Um, it's going to allow me to take advantage of these other two power stations. And I could even throw the EB70 into the mix because that's 716 watt hours. And like I say, as I told you, one of the reasons why I bought the EcoFlow was because of the capacity with the extra battery, 1440. And for the same reason that I looked at uh, the EB150 because I'm all about extending my battery capacity. You got to have battery capacity in order to go for the long haul, but you also have to have a way to charge them. So my answer to that is more solar panels to max this out, even on cloudy days. Um, hopefully I could get enough to keep the system going. And obviously you can conserve power through the night. You don't have to run your refrigerators and freezers all night. Um, you can turn them off for a couple hours, turn them back on to cool back down, then turn them off again for a couple hours. So if you're using your system right, in any type of weather condition, you can extend that battery life. All right, I hope that was informative to you. I hope uh, you see the benefits of this DC charge enhancer and what it can do. Let me know what you think about it because um, if you have any other ways I might be able to use it. I think uh, the versatility of it, either going directly, putting all your solar into it, or um, being able to use the, the battery capacity from other solar generators um, is very uh, useful. And you know what you see is you you got to keep an eye on what you're doing and the power that you're using because you're not always going to have perfect sunny days. I really so we, you know want to add the other battery too for the AC200P which you know Blue Eddy released some new products and they have that B300. I'd love to add that, you know, maybe in the future I will. And one of the benefits is it, it'll plug into this DC charge enhancer as well. Um, or you can plug it into the charge enhancer and, and uh, you may have to get two. I don't know how it works, but what I understand is you can use that B300 with the AC200P and increase your battery capacity that way. So that's just a quick rundown. I hope it was informative um, and helpful to you. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you like the content we're putting out, again, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button. that let you know when I have a new video uh, coming out. And I just want to thank you again for your viewership and have a blessed day.